So this is just an After Effects. Um, to be honest, I just made this while I was bored at work, but I just wanted to see if it was possible. So a lot of the tricks here you would have seen in another tutorial of mine, but I'll just show you how easy it was to kind of make this general kind of vibe. As you can see here, like it's not really 3D. You can see that it's just, I've sort of faked it a little bit because in the actual, um, the actual, you know, title, it's a lot more 3D, but because we don't have any 3D per se, I'm just going to fake it. Just kind of give you the look that you want to get. But here we go. Let's just dive into it. The first thing you're going to need is to get the Tron font. Now, um, you can get the Tron font from online and at duffont.com and just look for the Tron font. I'll just see. How, I'll just show you how easy it is to actually get that particular font once um, Firefox just loads up. Now let's uh, make sure. Let me just get this going. Oh, there's the actual Tron Legacy trailer. Just be loading from the last time it crashed because I actually recorded this tutorial before when it crashed. Um, if you go to defont.com, you can look up, you just type in Tron font, and this basically just comes up straight away. What do you say? So it's pretty Tomorrow, cool. you and I hit the arcade. I'll show you what the actual thing looks like a bit later. But that's um, the Tron trailer. Pretty cool. Anyway, so this Tron font's pretty easy to find. Just go for that when you get a chance to. All right, here we go. So let's get started. New composition. Uh, I like to make things in this aspect. 25. I'll make this 20 seconds. And we'll make the start time zero, and we'll call this Tron Legacy. All right, so uh, I'm gonna take in this particular sky background. I think I like that one, or was it? This is all from Andrew Kramer's stock stuff, but there was something that I liked that was quite good. I think this is the one I wanted because this had the most contrast in it. Let's pull that one in as well. Okay, I'm just gonna organize this stuff. It's always good to organize all your junk because you know you never know when someone else. I always think of it like this: if you die, can someone easily pick up where you left off? Um, in some cases, for me, that's not always true, but well, we'll try. So here we go. Let's go turn off some of these things because I can't see what I'm doing. But um, let's have a look here. Okay, so I'm just gonna make this a bit smaller so I can see what is going on. New text. Okay. Now let's just do the first letter. Um, I'm just do my name. I know that sounds very vain of me, but I'm just gonna do my name. Um, and let's um, pick the Tron font, which you should have already installed. And there you go. Well, thank you for listening to this tutorial. It's been great. Um, okay, here we go. There's my first letter of my name, Nick. Just roughly positioned it about here. Now you can see here that the white is the fill and this is the stroke, which is transparent. Now, what I'm gonna do is switch these around, do the switcheroo and we'll keep, well, I think six actually looks pretty good. So let's keep it at six. And what is actually happening is when that stroke is there, I'll just put a solid behind it. You can see um, it's just a stroke, like basically behind it is all gone. So um, I mean, the fill is all gone, it's just transparent. So let's go to the next letter and what we're going to do is um, we're just going to make a duplicate. I'm going to make this 3D and I'm going to make this color this in a different color. Let's pick um, this particular blue. It's quite nice. And I'm going to duplicate it and we're going to push this back. I'm going to press the P for the position and push this back 100 pixels. And then I'm going to change the color of the back layer to a slightly darker blue. And there you kind of have that kind of faux 3D um, sort of letter, lettering that we want. Anyway, so what we can do now is we can copy this. I reckon copy and then paste. Oops, before we do that, let's um, parent the bottom one, which is this one, the bottom layer to the top layer. So let's just do that real quick. And all right, that's good. So once we keep that, let's, um, Copy it and paste it, and let's do this again now. Let's solo these layers, and what we'll do is we'll do the letter I and the letter I. And what we'll do is we'll just move this over. And we'll move this over. So when you parent it, things will, you know, it'll look all right. Okay, cool. Now let's do it again. We'll copy. Uh, if you can't see what I'm doing, I'm just pressing Apple Command C. But if you can't find where Command C is, you can press go copy and then edit paste or Command P. 
case, if you like. So I'll just move this over again. Dun, dun, dun. It's very late here, so I apologize if I sound a bit tired. But nonetheless, I wanted to give you something to do during your holidays because I know none of you during your Christmas break are doing anything of any real value. So let's do this one more time. Uh, yes, move this across. And K and K. And that should do it. All right, so what we've great we've got now is we've got all these letters um, all done in the three dimensional space. So I'm just going to turn and make a null. So we'll make this the main word null. And we'll just parent the the non-parented letters to this main word so that we can just sort of move things around just a little bit. It was actually a pretty good place before, but you know, just so we can have that kind of control. Now, the next thing you want to do is um, we want to sort of we want to sort of zoom these things in. So, um, you just have to remember which one is your main one. So, oh, we just sort of rename this so it's really easy to kind of follow. You just have to remember that the ones that you've put at the top are the ones that are on top, and the ones that are on the bottom are the ones in the background. If that makes sense. So we've sort of separated these things to two bits. Anyway, it's just so that we know what's going on. So I'm going to just quickly move forward to about three seconds there, roughly about three seconds will do. That'll be good. Put a keyframe here, just click on the stopwatch and go home. And we're going to push this into a Z space so it goes out of nowhere. Now, what I'm going to do now is, so you can see, I'm going to change this last keyframe. I just press tilde to get that um, full screen. Go for it and get easy ease in. I actually like it to do that most of the time. And um, because it kind of gives it a nice stop, it kind of goes nice and stops it there. And there, now I'm going to do the same on this one, except this one can come from the back a bit more. So let's do that. And again, we can easy ease in this one. Let's also do this one. We'll have this, oops, I've done it in the wrong place. I keep pressing the wrong buttons, it's my bad. I'm pressing K and J to jump between the keyframes that are visible. So if you're just wondering how I'm snapping so quickly. Um, okay, so this one I'll go, we'll start a little bit forward. So not as far forward as the other one, but still far forward. And this last keyframe will just easy in, in, easy ease in. And again, with this last one, we'll just, uh, Pull it back maybe a little bit further. No, I don't know. Oh, a little bit further than that. Okay. And we'll get them all to kind of come in at the same time. So here you go. You can kind of see they all kind of zoom in. Boom. Now, here's where we get to kind of muck around with it a bit more. So if you go, to, we'll just go to the K and we'll just sort of think, well, we can spin this around a little bit. And um, maybe we could even put this on a bit of a Z rotation so it sort of just doesn't come in so yeah just to give it a bit of difference you know that's like it's not just a come a straight zoom in fly in you know what I mean because that's just boring because everybody does that you know there are like what do you call there are after effects presets for that kind of thing but you didn't come here to just do after effects style presets you came here to do something awesome so Awesome, as Barney would say out of, what's that show? How I Met Your, your Father or something. Anyway, uh, let's see. Now let's um, just offset this. I don't have, you don't have to do the same thing in every one, but, you know, it's just kind of fun to just give it a little bit more of a something-something, uh, especially the first letter. I think it would be kind of fun to do something a little bit special. So, and I'm just pressing R to bring up the rotation. In case you are wondering, those viewers at home, um, just give it a little bit of variation and just select those two and easy ease in. So now all the letters are coming in just nicely at the same time. Okay, so far, so good. Now I probably should save this because if I don't save it, I'm going to have a bit of a traumatic moment. So senior citizen moment as it were. And I've got this wheel of death. Awesome. How unprofessional. Now, that's cool. 
Where should we save it? I'll just save it on the desktop somewhere. Tron Legacy. Because, you know, you need to save these things. I should have saved it before, but the truth is, I forgot. Anyway, not important. Now let's throw in the word legacy, which, you know, it's always a good thing. Legacy. Um, now I'm using not the Tron font, I'm using something a little bit more simple. I actually decided to use Century Gothic, which I think is a nice font. Um, and I'm going to switch around, so it is a solid. And I'm going to make it a little bit... I'm going to use the original color that we had, which was this one. And um, let's... Um, I don't think I've got the faux bold on, but you never know these things. I didn't think I put it on. Yeah, I did put the faux bold on. Weird. Anyway, as you do. The font's a little bit big, so um, I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. Maybe about there. And bring it up. Do, 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 do. Then we're going to increase the tracking just a little bit. So let's see if we can really push this out. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, let's see. That's pretty good. All right. Now, funnily enough, it doesn't really matter that um, we use that particular color because I just realized that we can actually... I actually still think that's a little bit too big, but uh, I think that actually looks a bit cooler. Well, Nick Legacy, um, you know how it is. Anyway, we'll wait till these. So where everything comes in, let's get, where's the last keyframe on this? Then we start fading it in. So I'll put a, so press T for opacity, or you can just, if you want to twirl down, you can just come to all these properties here and there's opacity down the bottom there. But I just want to look at opacity just on its own. And uh, put another keyframe there. And then go back to it and we'll just make it fade up. Okay. Already this is starting to look a lot like the movie title if you think about it. Well, maybe not really, but you know. You know. Anyway. Um, now this is a very movie thing to do. We're going to put a ramp on that particular text. This is just not going to move, and ramp is a bit of a 2D, um, what's it called? It's a 2D effect, so it doesn't really work very well in a three-dimensional space, but um, it works fine here, which is what we want to do. Let me just swap these around, because I actually want this to be... I want the ramp to come from the bottom, not the top. So let's switch this and make it this color, and there we have that ramp. As you can see, uh, just so to show you what we're doing. So that's what we got so far. And you should be up to there. If you're not, you're not following me closely enough. I'm joking. Maybe you are doing the right things. I'm just, maybe I'm just not a very good teacher. Anyway, here we go. Um, let's see. Now, the other thing too is we have to make these um, letters flicker. Now, this is the real pain in the bum because I just realized that I got to flicker both of them. But... Um, let's just do it for one and then we'll just sort of pay, cut and paste for the and they flicker the letters actually flicker on and off so on so I start I put a keyframe in and then move it forward one frame pressing page up and page down make it zero oops make it zero because I got fumble fingers and let's make it 100 again so there we go there's one set and just make it flicker a few more times. 